Hello and welcome to my series and getting started with TSM. Now today I want to talk about cancelling auctions and posting specific auctions. Now let's say for example you've got a fast moving market, say something like Enchants, and you ideally want to be the lowest price person every time. So say for example, let's have a look at my auctions here. This is the list of all my auctions. Now if I go and type in Enchants, then it will filter out just my Enchants that I've got at the moment. So we can see all these filtered by keywords. Now, these are all on at 48 hours at the moment. Say I wanted to cancel all of these. Now, there's several things I could do. I could, in this window, start at the top, select one, and then either click the cancel button down here, or I could use the scroll wheel macro, and I could simply run through and cancel all these auctions. And that's a way of literally taking everything off and then putting it back on again. You could do this with filtered items, or you could even do this with things that are about to expire or are a certain length. But let's say we wanted to just cancel the things that we've been undercut on. So what we do in this case is go to our auctioning tab, and then down here we've got our group of enchants. So if we deselect everything, so deselect all groups, and then just select our enchanting group here. And we could run a cancel scan on all of these, but we could get even more specific than that. We could say, maybe I just want to do the, the ones that are fast selling, the ones that I know that are uh, good sellers, the ones that I've already put in their own groups, like um, the average necks and the rings, the good ones and the, the good necks there, and maybe something like elemental force and, and these. So maybe I just want to do a few things like this. Then what I can do is run a cancel scan and TSM will go through and show me which ones I've been undercut on. Now, as you can see, a lot of these I've been undercut on. So in a typical market like in Chance, where you're not doing things like pretty stacks and overcutting, that's a topic for another time. In something like in Chance, you, if it's a fast moving market or a very particular popular time of day, you might want to keep on doing cancel scans and reposting your auctions so that you can always be the cheapest person. So you look through here, I've been undercut on all of these. This one hasn't been undercut and these ones are below my minimum price. So it's not going to cancel those and these ones are at normal price and not going to be undercut. So what you can do now is TSM saying I'm going to cancel only 30 of these auctions. So I can use the scroll wheel again and I can cancel all of these. And then TSM has cancelled all the ones that it was going to cancel. And then you can go over to your mailbox and pick those up. So we're just going to do the cancels here. I'm going to keep my sales for another time. I'm just going to take my cancels off. And then we can go back to the auction house. And already just the ones I cancelled are still selected. So I can run a post scan and quickly put those back on and undercut my competition. Now this is particularly useful in times when you want to be the cheapest and or you're on a particularly fast moving market. Um, bear in mind you're redoing your auction house costs so this is only really worth doing um, aggressively if something is quite cheap to post up. Something like Enchants are already quite cheap to post up so that's worth it and particularly this is useful for the ones you want to just keep on putting on to make sure you get some sales. So that's a couple of ways you could cancel your auctions either using a cancel scan or by going into your auctions and simply selecting them and clicking cancel. Now the other thing I want to talk about is what about a case where you want to put a specific item, it might not even be in a group, uh, you want to place it a, a specific item at a certain price. Let's say for example we were searching for chaos crystals and we've got a good list of chaos crystals here but we didn't want to uh, be the cheapest on this one. Say for example we looked at the prices of these and we thought okay I really want to be somewhere here and rather than adjusting your group or even if you didn't have something in the, your group you can quite easily post an individual item by going to this hammer icon just on the right here and you can post your item at this specific price and it will undercut just that one specific thing. So say we had a nice stack of 200 chaos crystals and we want to pretty stack those to be higher than all of these and put ours in at a nice price just underneath these ones here at 99 gold each. So what you could do is click on the hammer icon just under this one and you could say it's matching the quantity 
and the duration and just undercutting this by one copper of the item you've selected. So what you could do is change the quantity to one of 200, press enter, and then you could post your item in at that price. Now when we rescan, you can see I've come in here, just undercutting this one at 99.59.68, I've gone in at 99.67. There's someone looking at this list and they want to buy just a big stack of Chaos Crystals, they would look down here and say, ah, there's a stack of 200, I'm gonna buy them and may not even necessarily look at the price. Someone just wants a convenient stack. So using this hammer icon on the right, this is a really handy way of just literally posting something on just for individual items. You don't even have to have them in a the group to be able to do this. So I hope you found those useful. If there's anything specific you'd like me to cover, please do put a comment down below and I'll add it to a future video. I'm really enjoying doing this series and so I'm really glad that people are finding them useful. Until next time, happy gold making.